All right, this one I have titled Trash Can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, trash. This I mean, is a, trashing is fun. Trashing is fun. You, uh, you had some trashing in the last video already. Oh. <laughs> trash Can, take one. Welcome back to HM and Big E Review Things. Today we are talking about two movies, uh, but they are linked in that they are not very good movies. Definitely not. <laughs> Uh, so one of the movies that we're talking about that uh, let's start with this one is the contractor. The contractor. The contractor. That's Chris right. Chris Pine. Chris Pine. Anyone Captain else? Kirk. And Ben Foster. Ben Foster. Okay. So what is this movie about? I didn't watch it. So what what is this movie about? Basically, it is about a re, uh, sort of an honorably discharged uh, elite soldier. Okay. Uh, who's down on his luck? Yes. He's got he's got injuries. He's got a family to feed, but uh, no income now. So he takes contracting jobs, you know, uh, where uh, they do black ops missions. And now uh, the premise is really cool. That's why I want to watch the movie. <laughs> and um, and uh, he's he's back in America after a few missions, and you know, has no money. So uh, story is um, Ben Foster's his good pal, and uh, he's ex-military as well. And he says, "Look, you can get a lot of money by doing these side right. contract hustles." Right. So they meet up with Kiefer Sutherland, okay, Jack Bauer's character, yes. and he's like the main contractor. He okay. is setting up these things. He's the boss. Okay, sounds cool. It sounds, sounds super cool. Yes. And then they go uh, to um, basically they have to go uh, kill someone. Okay. That's the contract. But then obviously there's betrayal. It wrong, and yeah. Okay. And there is like it's not what it seems. And okay. It sounds like a decent movie. What's, it sounds what's... like a, the the problem is yeah. It's just not a. There's nothing that really happens. Everything that that does happen is super obvious. Yeah. Oh, you know, without spoiling it. Oh, I knew that guy was going to betray him, and right. and it's just it's just not that interesting. The firefights are pretty boring. It's standard military stuff without any cool action scenes. Just shooting in the dark. You can't see who's shooting who, who's dying, um, and uh, there's no real redemption. It just ends with, again, without spoiling it, with pretty much a flat ending. Okay. So again, one of those movies where uh, I think you'll watch and think, okay, I guess it's not, it doesn't do anything to you emotionally. Characters are totally forgettable. Uh, Chris, I mean, the, the the saddest part is the three main guys are good actors, yeah, right? Yeah. They can do good stuff, but they're just totally wasted. Okay. You know, just sort of even the action scenes. It's all filmed in super dark places. You don't even know who's fighting who. And why they're fast you, edits, like one of those fast cutting things. Yeah, a little bit yeah. of fast editing, and um, yeah, there's even the music is like very dull. Everything yeah. about this movie is dull, okay. and so you'll watch it and you'll think, yeah, okay, well, I, that was nice. Two hours did nothing for me. Maybe there should be a reoccurring segment. We should call this "Why was this movie made?" Basically, <laughs> and I'm sure maybe it was based on a book or be, because whatever. But and again, good actors, good yeah. stars, yeah. but just. But was the acting good at least? Not really. Again, no, nothing's, no, nothing. Nothing. Say that. Nothing because they're yeah. not really playing really complicated characters. Right. 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 Like, yeah, I guess Chris. Is... You see, Chris Pine. He's trying his best. He gets yeah. in shape for this movie. He looks yeah. good. Yeah. But um, and you feel a little bit of his pain because he's he's poor and he's down on his luck and he's kind of thrown out by the military. But even that was a little bit hand fisted. You know, mm. kind of like why he was thrown out of the military because mm. you want to establish he's a good person. Yes. Uh, but, but, he, but he did something kind of not good. So right. He got thrown out, you know. Okay. So again, overall grade for the contractor. Let's see, it's just not gonna. I, know, I think Moonfall was worse than this. Oh yeah, Moonfall so bad. Moonfall this one was, at least Moonfall was not that bad. Co cohesive story. <laughs> it was not done well. It was boring as heck. Yeah. Action scenes were not good, which is the mm. whole thing about yeah, this yeah, movie yeah, should be the action right, scenes. Right. Right. Um. So that's why it gets a C. But Moonfall, that's another. Okay. Another. Yeah. Check out our Moonfall review yeah. here. So I wouldn't say this is like. The biggest piece of trash movie that I've seen, but it's just not gonna like you're not gonna watch it and disagree with that. I don't think you're gonna give it an A or B. You're gonna okay. say it's a C. Speaking of the biggest trash that's, movie you've ever seen, that's what we want to get to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the other movie that we're reviewing today is uh, Netflix's The Bubble. Trash. The Bubble. Oh my goodness. I. I... So, so what was <laughs> this was a Netflix oh. produced movie in the pandemic. That's what the big hype, not hype, the promotion was, right? I mean, I, I, I'm sure it was made during the pandemic, but also that's kind of the plot of the movie or the main premise that it's a bunch of people, a bunch of act, fictionalized actors in the movie that are, you know, uh, part of this big franchise and they have to film the next, film the latest franchise entry into the franchise under pandemic rules and they're that's in right. a bubble. 
Um, I don't... It, it, it shocks me how there are so many funny people in this movie and the end result was so incredibly unfunny. It's I think it's like two and a half hours. It's long. It's long and I chuckled once. I think the setup is... Oh. They don't even go anywhere with the setup. It, it's it, it's interesting in the sense that because of your everybody's living through COVID, you can kind of relate to these annoying things that you do, like the the tests. And That's the such a sh- small okay. But why are you building a movie around anyway? I, but like I mean, you have Michael Keegan Key, you have Karen Gillan, who's the main star. You have David Duchovny, you have Fred Armisen, you had Peter Serafinowicz. These are all really funny people. Yeah. Good comedic timing. Good comedic sense. Do you like? Judd Apatow's other movies? Uh, I get that it's a very specific type of humor. 40-Year-Old Virgin, Knocked Up. Um, I, I think those are much better than this. Much better than this. Uh, Why, though? I don't... Because the star uh, power there and star power here is pretty equal, I think. You know, I mean, they, they have a lot of good comedians in both. My, my, my feeling yeah, what, is... is, prop, well, is no. Why don't you give the context of how much of this movie you've seen? I saw 45 <laughs> minutes of the movie because I gave up. <laughs> I was trying because of this review to watch it, but it was so blatantly <laughs> obvious that it's going nowhere. Oh, it's so bad. I felt like it's basically he had a this premise he pitched it in Netflix. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and they're like, okay, you can do it for X number of dollars, and they spent most of it on probably the stars. Yeah. And they're like, let's just do it in one one location, basically. Yeah. And let's just film you guys making <sighs> funny scenes, but here's a minimal script. You improvise the rest. It's funny because towards the end of the movie, which you wouldn't have seen, uh, they joke about how, you know, in in this fictional production that they're doing, that if they walk away, like they have to pay the penalties. They have to pay hundreds of millions of dollars to the studio uh, if they walk away and they cancel production. I feel that that was a commentary maybe on what was actually happening. They were like, oh, this is not a good movie. We shouldn't do this. But they're like, oh, if you walk away, you know, you're going to have to pay Netflix hundred hundred and something million dollars. Like, oh, okay. Is it doing well on Netflix though? Who knows? Netflix never publishes their numbers. Um, but I think even they know it's not great. I don't see a lot of promotion for it. They're really not pushing it. Again, I see more promotion for Moonfall than for The Bubble. Then you love that movie. <laughs> um, so what was the most terrible stuff, uh, sins of this movie? Actually, I can I can pinpoint one of the most terrible points, which I don't think you, you got to. I think it was towards the later stages of the movie. Um Judd Apatow's daughter is in it. I forget her name. Uh, but she plays... She's supposed to play represent like a younger uh, actress, up-and-coming actress who has, you know, this huge social media following. Oh, that's her. That's, that's her. Daughter. That's the daughter, yeah. Yes. yeah. I, I don't think she did a good job acting. No. Uh, I don't know if it was the characters written or if it was her delivery. It was pretty bad. But towards the end, as part of this fictional movie, she does a TikTok dance with the dinosaur, with the beasts. Okay. And they do a dance. And I think it's supposed to be like kind of funny and poking fun at... You know, TikTok culture. And, That's right. But it was really... I don't know. Maybe we're the wrong demographic. I think I got to that point. Was Did it you? in the middle? I don't remember. Did you? It no, was, no, no. There was the point where she dances with... The, the oh, people. The people. That's right. But then she kind of does it again with the dinosaur beasts. And that's how she connects with... It It was It was baffling. It was like, how did... Again, that's that's the name of this segment. How did this movie get made? Why Why was this made? I don't, I don't get it. I this think, was a really, really unfunny movie. I... I I like comedies a lot uh, naturally, and I watch a lot of comedies. Um, this is one of the the least funny movies I've ever ever seen, <laughs> ever seen. What's another movie that's just super unfunny? Okay, yeah, I mean, uh, I think the Ghostbusters remake, uh, it twenty sixteen or twenty sixteen. That was that generally fell pretty flat. Again, oh. there was a lot of there was a lot of just improvise and it'll be funny. Yeah. Um, but I, I again, those are I, I mean, all those comedians are actually really really funny. Uh, I actually think all of them. Yeah, there are fun. They are really funny. funny. But that movie was just it fell pretty flat. I thought that movie was way better than the bubble. Way better than the bubble. I didn't like that movie at all. This is even worse. The bubble was just so so bad. That's pretty bad then because Ghostbusters was 2016 very was very unfunny. I agree. And, and really not a this good was worse movie. This i mean if you good. if you ever feel like torturing yourself you can finish the rest of the hour and 45 minutes left that you have of this movie it, it was like uh, do i get through this so we could do this review and i could say more things <laughs> or do i just like save my sanity no i've seen the whole thing I, there's not much there's nothing to say okay the characters don't develop there's i, I don't 
Ugh. I think it's, it's one of those movies where everything on the foundational side didn't work. Like, mm. why have so many characters? Why do this premise at all? Mm. Uh, you know, is there a script at all? Yes. I mean, so many fundamental problems you can yeah. tell. Even yeah, in yeah, the yeah. first 20 minutes, you can tell that this was improvised yeah. or... A very, very rough idea. But, you know, a lot of the good comedies that I, I remember, like, it, 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 they, I know what you're talking about, this Judd Apatow style, where there is probably a lot of improvisation. Will yes. Ferrell or whoever's doing it, or Steve Carell, they're really yeah, good yeah, yeah. at this stuff. Yep. But I, I almost guarantee those the better ones have a baseline script, and they're sticking yeah. mostly to the script, and, and then they'll do a few takes. Improvising around it. Yeah, they'll yeah. do a few takes around the, the story that makes As sense. Right? Like this is just yeah here. Things happen. I mean, if anything, could have they have not approached it from a sketch comedy point of view? View where where they're yeah, doing different maybe. sketch comedies or something you maybe know? that would have been a little bit better and and i've seen reviews that talk about that that this is like a really really unfunny snl episode yeah where it's yeah. just different ideas and different small skits and none of them work and none of them land and they definitely don't land all together it this was this was baffling as a movie Again, Fred Armisen is actually one of my favorite comedians. I think he's really, really funny. Uh, I think he was trying. I think you trying. introduced me to Parks and Rec, and when I watched Parks and Rec, obviously the first season wasn't great, but the episode that hooked me was, I think, in season two when he shows up, and he shows up as the something of Venezuela or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah. really funny, and I was like, oh, yes, I'm hooked. And then he's really funny in Portlandia, and he's actually really funny on mm-hmm. SNL. He's a really funny guy. All of these actors, actors and actors are really maybe, funny. Maybe it would have done better as a mockumentary, where they're... they're they film the person doing an interview. That's they... how the movie ends, by the way. Okay. Well. The movie ends because there's they introduce that through line of, of, oh, there's a guy that's kind of filming the behind-the-scenes stuff. Right. The movie ends that way. That Oh, the production of the movie fails, and actually the premiere of this documentary oh. is actually more interesting, and they're big stars because of that. And Okay. It, it completely switches gears. It's so weird. It's so, so weird. I... I really, really do not recommend this movie. I'm just going to jump to final grade. Sure. This is an F. Wow. Movie. Boom. This is... You got to do it graphically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is, is one of bad. the worst movies I have ever, ever seen. Okay, that's pretty bad then. That's What, what grade do you give the first 45 minutes of this movie? <laughs> I, mean, it's, I, I don't want to score the first 45. I will trust your F, okay? Okay. Because it's even really it was bad. going downhill very fast in the first really 30 bad. minutes. Don't, don't watch it. Don't watch it, yeah. Don't watch it. Don't watch watch it. Moonfall. Watch <laughs> Moonfall. Yeah, Moonfall's an A compared yeah. to this, yeah. Yeah, watch anything but this. Okay, so that's our that's our why did this get made segment. Uh, the contractor, just kind of bland. Bland. Very, yeah, middle of the road. Very. And then Bubble, which is just a crater in the middle of the earth. Yeah, we'll try to do a few more of these uh, trash, <laughs> trash can segments. Which is bad. Again, it's bad. Like, a lot of people... A lot of people, not just the stars, not just the directors and producers, but there's a lot of people that help to make movies get made, and it's a huge endeavor, and people spend years of their life. So, but I don't think this was the case. This movie was made in one month. <laughs> Roll. But, Edit. So, no editing. So our review of the movie, hopefully, is... I, I, we're not trying to tear down those people's efforts, but I mean, we're just trying to judge the final product, and it is not good. This was not good. The bubble. All right. Uh, until next time, uh, please keep watching stuff, but don't watch this. Okay? <laughs> you can like this channel and subscribe, but don't but like don't that like movie, the, yeah. so. <laughs> All right.